pink trees this year. Oh, that is so pretty. That is so pretty. I love decorations. I love the decorations this year, the colour schemes. I bought some of those little um, flowers and the butterflies. bought some of those. I'll show you later on. We put them up in the house. And it just it's just so... Decorations are so pretty now compared to how they used to be. We don't get so much the reds and the, and the greens. They're a lot more subtle, aren't they? Dusky colours. I'm hoping you'll indulge me and let me show you our decorations. This is not so much for you, but for me. No, it's for you as well. I mean, you actually just skip through if you're in, not interested. And a lot of people have been doing their decorations on YouTube and, and on their videos. So if you're just bored of that, just skip through because I'll put the timings down below anyway. But those of you who do want to see decorations in the UK, yeah, carry on. Um, it won't be a long segment, but I do like to record them because then it's for me. Because I found that this year, I've looked at last year's videos and, you know, enjoyed looking at how we decorated the house last year. And we've done it differently this year and it's quite nice to have that record. So I just want to record them again and show you, well, show me. So um, anyway, decorations, house decorations coming up. But first, got to show you the husband. Uh, yeah, he, he took charge of outside. I've just got to show you this. Got to show you this. Now, this is our neighbourhood. And people have made an effort, you know, they've got the decorations up outside and um, I, some of the houses just look like they're, we're landing planes and the deer out on the lawns and so on. Yeah, what have we done? Well, husband, there he is. Look, look what he's done. What he has done is plonk that, plonk. Just, just that. It's as if he's just said, right, plug this in, pop that outside, plonk it down there, done. Anyway, on the inside, he has made more of an effort. Look, he's put this, he's put this up around the banister, these lights. We've come out to town and uh, had a little peekaboo around Marks and Spencers. I've got some other jeans now, having replaced the um, boyfriend jeans. And you probably can't hear me, can't hear a word I'm saying. I just need to go into Boots because I want to go and see, get some Elf um, Paulist Primer again. So I managed to buy my Elf Primer and I absolutely love this Paulist Putty Primer from Elf. I love it so much that I have got, I thought I'd get the girls one each as well for a stocking filler for Christmas. So, and then I thought I would also try the Luminous Putty Primer from e.l.f. Give that one a go because they've got three. The white one is, is translucent. This is the Luminous. I didn't want to try the uh, translucent. I love the Paulus and I wanted to give the Luminous a try. So I bought these two for myself and then the girls, one of these for their Christmas stocking. There's an idea for you guys if, and girls, if you're thinking about your children, your teenagers, your 20 year olds. And my hair is a total, that's grey there, there's a flick of grey. Anyway, um, yeah, there's lots of grey in it, but it's just showing up because that's where there's a bit of a curl. But it's just, it's just, um, like, I don't know, it's horrible, dry, frizzy today. I washed it yesterday. And it's just, it hasn't held the normal shine and buoyancy. So I tried curling it this morning, ringlet curls, and this side it took all right a little bit, and this side it's just, ugh. so it's just awful. And even if I brush it, if I brush it, I don't think it's going to help. Maybe it will a bit. But then it's just flat on top. So 
Because now I just look old and like a witch. Oh my god, I just can't see. Look at this, awful. It's awful. Maybe I should just put it up, but then we're going out and I'll end up with cold ears. So, I'll get worse once I've got a beanie on. And then I'm just, it's just going to be even worse. It's just going to be flat and then vroomph. Oh. Can't wait till I wash it again and actually get my normal, actually get my normal shine back in it and bounce back in it. Ugh, it's horrible. This is horrible. <laughs> Now I'm seated, I can take my mask off. <laughs> the great, great reveal. reveal. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. This is one I got from Ocado. I think it's quite well recommended this. this one. There. I'm all set for my substantial yes. Substantial meal. I'm having mulled wine. Yes, yeah, so you can come out for a drink, because we're in tier two, you can come out for a drink if you have a substantial uh, meal or substantial food and we are we've come out for lunch because so we're having substantial food god i'm having a really bad hair day today <laughs> totally all around <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway that's working right now so yes i'm gonna have the christmas bun and uh, christmas christmas burger and that's turkey and it's got i'm leaving the bread i'm not having the bread but it's turkey and stuffing and it's cranberry and it's uh bacon and sprout coleslaw and brie and cranberry sauce and roast potatoes <laughs> And that's my drink, mulled, steaming mulled wine. And I'm out with my wreck. Food's arrived. Look, look, look at that. Christmas burger. I moved on to a white wine. I'm just looking at your sprout coleslaw. I know, it's sprout coleslaw, yeah. It's, it's going to be interesting. So many different levels. And you've got fish and chips. Yeah, with You were going to have salt. burger in your but you've changed your mind. Sea salt as well, the top of the fish. Oh, it's marvellous. Mm. So it is Wednesday and I've washed my hair and I have still got this bulk of frizz. I mean, it's not as bad as it was. It's by no means as bad as it was. I seem to have um, put something on it, smoothed it out a bit, you know, a bit. But I haven't had it cut for a long time and uh, I won't be until January. And so there's no shape. It needs layering to thin it out a bit. But there's also quite a lot of frizz here. And I remembered, I mean, you saw the frizz. You saw the frizz in my last... Well, you know, yesterday. I remember that I had been sent a hair smoothing treatment and I thought that's an ideal opportunity to try it. I was sent it just for me, not not for me to show you or anything like that. Um, and I said I'm not showing it uh, unless I actually wanted to. So I am, um, this is the kit, oh wow. And inside is a shampoo and a conditioner and a treatment spray i have been reading up about this so what you do so what i'll be doing tomorrow morning because i've got the day off tomorrow i'm going to um got to spray this on to clean dry hair now my, i spray this on and apparently a hill bottle is a treatment so i'd expect i'd expect to use that all up then you leave it to dry for a while and then wash rinse it off totally Without shampoo or conditioner, just rinse, rinse the hair thoroughly, rinse the spray off. Then you've got to dry it with a hair dryer or dry it, and um, then use a straightener to set it and to straighten your hair and set then set the hair. And the treatment's supposed to then last for quite a few weeks. So I'll give that a go and see if this bulk here and frizz disappears. So we'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. The other thing I want to show you, if you saw my last video, I was talking about packing and I was talking about if you've got crop jeans, you know, maybe black socks are a good alternative. But I have found on Amazon some bamboo Fair Isle socks and I've ordered them. I have got them and I bought a pack of five. And here's one in them. They're different colours. So this burgundy, brown and green. And I think I've got a blue on or a black. Anyway, a pack of five Fair Isle bamboo socks. They'd be great with a pair of crop jeans and slippers. I don't know if you're looking for something to put on your feet while you're, you know, you're, you're in someone's house or they're in your house and, you know, company and all that. I think that's a good alternative worth thinking about. Well, step one of hair resolution 
and I've put the spray in, washed it out, rinsed it out. Um, I need to now use a straightener, but frizz has gone here a little bit. Let's use a straightener. I also, I'm lacking body and I need to use a, um, a curling brush up here because it's just awful and flat and horrible. So let's see if I can solve my hair problems. Okay, well you can see that my hair's not straight. There's a reason for that. Straight hair just does not suit me. So having straightened it, I then used a curling iron to try to put some wave back in it. I think at the end of the day, if, you, if you're going to end up curling your hair, at some point you're getting, you get frizz. I mean, I just can't manage to do it without frizz, whatever product I'm putting in. But I think what I need is a haircut. So next time I wash my hair, I'm going to try blow drying it and seeing if that works. I've also bought a load of other products as well for anti-frizz. I'm going to give a try to as well. And maybe the problem is that the shampoo I've been using recently has just been too drying. Maybe that's the problem. Anyway, that's another episode for the bad hair files. I'm quite liking my hair now, actually. Oh, I mean, I suppose as long as you can put up with a mess and call it natural, you're okay. Right, so what can we do now? What should we do now? So now I am going to open up my FabFitFun box because that's arrived. So I'm not doing an unboxing as such. I'm just going to, you know, my FabFitFun box has arrived. I'm just going to go through it and see what I have got. I mean, I just select the options and so on. So vaguely, I should know what I've got, the things that I, I wanted, but um, I've forgotten. I do know there's two cuts in there, which I'm excited about. I do hope they haven't broken as it's been shipped from the States. So, uh, let's see. Let's check out those cups first, I think. We'll do that. Well, they've been packed well. They're in a box here. So hopefully, hopefully they haven't broken. It's isn't it? So a set of two of those. God handle. I won't be putting them in the dishwasher. But, uh, yeah, very nice. I will enjoy my winter cups of tea, coffee, hot chocolate in those. I also got a liquid eyeliner and this is by Astretica. Now this is not something I selected so I think we probably all got this one, we've got an perfect fun box. And Kate Spade something or other which I do believe I did select. Kate Spade earrings. Pretty, very pretty. Looks like a little card wallet as well and purse for coins in here. This I believe we all got because I don't remember selecting this. Um, so there we go, that was in the box. Laura Geller palette. And I believe it's an eyeshadow palette. I haven't had Laura Geller. I haven't got any new Laura Geller stuff for ages, actually. Um, I normally get Laura Geller from QVC, although you can get it in stores in London now. So where have I seen it? House of Fraser. That's right, I've seen Laura Geller in House of Fraser. So this is the Cinnamon and Spice palette. Right, let's have a look inside. Oh, pretty. Pretty. Pretty palette. It looks like there's quite a lot of mattes in there, which are really useful because I find that so many palettes have a lot of um, shimmer now. And really what you need is shimmer to accent. And I tend to use the mattes more with the shimmer to accent. And so many palettes just don't have enough mattes. So really pleased that it's got a decent amount of mattes in it. Some Muck Luxe. Actually, I do know Muck Luxe. I have got some Muck Luxe. Uh, Look, look, let's see. Um, uh, slipper socks. And these are actually, you know, the mucklucks have a sort of sticky bottom and just slipper, slipper socks and uh, lovely. Look, pom pom on, cable design. Really wonderful for January. I Handily, there is another one, so I have got a pair. A facial dry brush. A little dry brush. I'll see why it's called dry brush. And some chopping boards, so you can separate your, you know, that that's, looks like it's a fish board, then you've got the vegetable board, then you've got a meat board, or a red meat board, you've got um, white meat board, vegetables, and um, a fish. So I, I just find that quite, find that quite handy in the kitchen, and it uh, looks like you can hang them up, because I've got a hook there. Um, 
so you know i enjoyed these when i had had something like this before from queen easy so uh yeah i ordered those and they're bpa free handily and that is it that is my fab fit fan box so that is that excitement of the day done what do we think of my hair yeah um, i mean it's certainly better with a bit of wave in it it's got some body but yeah it's just not perfect just need desperately need to cut I, honestly this video it, it's just all about my hair isn't it i'm just so fed up with it I'm so fed up with it the thing is my hairdresser had um she had a cold couldn't come then we made another appointment then the cases all around here went up and i thought well, actually she's going around a lot of houses and um the cases were quite to, just before we went into lockdown there were a lot of cases so i said okay you know just we'll just wait and then the next point i'm glad i'm glad really glad she's busy she's she's packed because she then couldn't fit us until january which i'm really pleased for pleased for her that she is so busy i am pleased because i really you know I'm, I'm keen to support local people and and actually hope that hope that they are working and getting income and so on and I've got lots of customs. I'm really pleased. She, 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 no. And in the meantime, I'm just going to have to avoid cutting it to myself, which I did last time. I did in lockdown one. I did cut it myself. And I'm, I totally made a mess. It looked nice at first, and then I made a mess because I'd actually ruined the style. And we're now desperately trying to get my, my old style back. Hopefully now this long period of being able to grow it long means that when she can cut it, she can actually cut the style, I, my style back in again. Um... But in the meantime, I'm putting up with this thickness of hair. Oh well, we'll see what I look like tomorrow. Another hair adventure. Come, maybe a ponytail, maybe it'll be a bun. Maybe I'll just be, I don't know, frizz again. We'll see. Anyway, that's the Fab Fit Fan box. Need to go and put it all away now. Well, you guys, I'm just going to sit and watch a Christmas movie. I've got a day off work, sitting and cross watching a Christmas movie this afternoon. And, do you know, I just wanted to tell you that I decided to have a glass of wine here but i'm having the one that i'm having and it's actually really nice it's this um the one that came in my degusta box the uh wolf blast chardonnay 2018 and i thought you'd like to know that i thought you'd like to know that so you probably want to see today's hair fiasco and this is it actually it's not too bad is it i just put a bit of a curl in it um i just put a bit of a curl in it you know with a curling tongs um and it, Really, we're still where we were. That actually, if you curl it, it's you're just going to kind of live with a bit of. I think the thing is, I'm right handed, so I can do this side easily, and I can't do this side so well. Does everybody have that problem? Maybe everyone has that problem. Anyway, tomorrow it's hair wash day. We'll see what happens then. It's a story, isn't it? We'll see what happens tomorrow, at hair wash day. I might feel just an urge to blow dry it and. Um, and straighten it. Blow dry and straighten it. We'll see what it looks like tomorrow. And what else is on the agenda today? I'm taking Luna to the vet because he hurt his claw in the week and he's had the, the vet's looked at it and it's been bandaged up and so on and she's having a, she, he's having another look. And going to the vet these days is going to be an interesting experiment on my part because John took, took him so I haven't been yet. But apparently you go to this sort of uh, hatch on the outside of the building say you're there and then they come to collect the dog from the car so that's going to be a little bit of an excitement later and depending on how all that goes I will, oh, i'll take the camera anyway so yeah you may either see it or don't see it so i'm here with my baby in the back and so now i should really go and explore where i need to go and book him in and also get cat special cat dietary uh, special cat food that red relaxer cat has has right let's go well that was harmless i think <laughs> i assume <laughs> i queued around um wandering around a tent found the reception portal and um booked him in now i sit here and wait for the vet to come to the car it's quite funny sitting here because um I keep seeing around the back, through the, through the back, um, vets wandering around the car park with, with cat baskets <laughs> and cat carriers. It's like some really bad comedy. Look how he's resting his, um, his poorly paw on the seat. He seems to have made a bit of a mess of the seat, I've got to say, actually, with all that mud on there. He's put some mud on the seat, but we can brush that off easily enough. It's, um, it's got chickens on it. Can you see there? 
Oh, here's a vet. They've made the outside look like candy cane. Wrap red tinsel around the white posts. It's cute, isn't it? Well, it's another day. It's another hair wash. And um, yes, I washed it. I don't know if you can tell. I can. I can tell. When I was washing it, definitely I could still feel the oh wow still in the hair as it's supposed to do, supposed to be. And um, then I dried it, heat activated it, used the straighteners, straightened it. But And my hair was very sleek. It was very sleek. It was... It did straighten it really nicely without frizz, but that just doesn't suit me. So I thought I'd try the curling, try to use the straightener for curling again, which I've done. Now, to me, um, as normal, this curl at this side's better because that's just easier for me to do than the other side. But I do feel there's a lot less frizz this side. And it's partly because the product has made my hair softer. So because it's softer, there's more um, bounce to it, there's a lot less frizz even though I've put a curl in it so I'm 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 quite happy with that you know I think I've just got to get used to the idea that if you are going to curl your hair you don't brush it um and that you just call call it natural and be done with it I mean if it's good enough for Lisa Lisa it's going to be good enough for me isn't it really <laughs> anyway what I'm going to do now is just show you Luna's new bandage because you've got a green bandage now with some different animals on it and then call this vlog a wrap I'll see you all in another vlogmas or another outfit and uh well Let's look at Nuna's bandage. Let's see your bandage. Sit down. Sit. Nuna, sit. Let's see your bandage. I want to see what's on this one. Oh, there we go. Now, what is this? What is this animal? I haven't a clue. Keep still, mister. What's that? Keep still. Still. No, no, no. Still. Fish, I think. 